everyone, this is Inaya Day. She is a dead set legend. I've been listening to her for about 13 years and finally to meet her in person is like a dream come true. She's had about 42 singles. Is that about it? And finally coming up with an album. When should we be expecting that coming out? Um, hopefully during the fall. Yeah. Well, the fall to me. I guess that would be spring to you. Yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. So it's going to be any old stuff on there? Or on new no, stuff? No, no, or new all stuff? new stuff. Wow. Yeah, the song you will be on there. Other than that, it'd be like this. Nice. Yeah. So we've been doing this stuff because it's been about a year, two years since you've been performing at Singing and recording. That's what I do. And you've got like a live show every Thursday night? Um, every Thursday I sing with a band at the Village Underground in New York City, in Greenwich Village. And um, yeah, I used to have my own band on like a high end. So I'm singing with your band for a while. It's been two years I've been with them. Nice. So you've been in this thing for oh, yeah. 13 years. So what has kept you going? Like what's kept you like, going? Like, you've been here and you seem to be one of those many faces that stay within the club scene. You keep coming out with tune. So why do you think you appeal so much to the club scene in general? I guess it's just uh, my love of the music and since it's working, I guess I keep trying to go in a direction that, you know, people seem to grab on to. You know, I'm originally a uh, first, first and foremost gospel thing. Then I did the R&B and hip-hop thing. And um, I kind of fell into the house music genre by accident. I've always loved house music. I've always danced in house music. If it wasn't at the club, I did not go inside. You know, I was like, do you play house music? They say, no, thanks, goodbye. You know, but I never was recording it to make it a single. Yeah. And I would do people's demos and, you know, hey, they let me go, kind of yeah. But then, you know, I did Keep Pushing, which was a demo, and that did well. And then Hold Your Head Up High was the demo, that did well. And Horny was a demo, that, that did well. Really well. So it was like, okay, I just maybe I should keep going. So I kept going. So you've come from a religious background. Have you found that to be a very strong influence in Well, definitely. Music? It is actually my forefront. It is actually what keeps me moving and grounded. Now, I've days had, when you just don't feel like it, that's what keeps you. And I've had a few chats with you about the whole religious background. So yeah. I've done the whole Christian background too. And yeah. Like, have you found that in such a scene that's about, like, well, the fact is, you've got your music that's often in nightclubs where there is that whole drug side. Do you find that a struggle to perform in that, having a religious background? No, I don't find it a struggle. I mean, sometimes, yes, most times it's, it's disheartening, yeah. but um, it's not a struggle. What I do is, before every performance, I always pray, and I always hope that even if one person is reached by a positive lyric, or, you know, what makes one person say, well, you know what, I really don't need to medicate myself yeah. so much because I can't even feel the music. You know what I mean? Because if you're too gone, you're not going to remember it. There's no fun in it. So I always pray that somebody will get the point, and maybe they'll tell some friends and so on and so on. Yeah, because yeah, you very much are someone who's very much based on your faith, and I've often wondered how that would go with such a kind of scene. And you've been going for 13 years. Hasn't it been tiring for you? Um, no. I mean, I get tired, yeah. of course. I mean, you look gorgeous for somebody who's been in the business for 13 years. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Go Thank you. Look. Good, I'll take that. Okay. Yes, I started when I was two. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes, it's gorgeous. <laughs> um, so, you're back at Fluffy's again for your first time in how many years, so what can you expect for the show tonight? Well, oh, I'm going to do a mega mix instead of like, because a lot of times I do, you know, five songs or whatever, yeah. and then somebody's yelling out, why didn't you do blah, blah, blah? You know, so I said, okay, let me try to mesh as many of them as I can into one big sandwich. So I'm going to do the natural high, but I'm also going to do the keep pushes and the lines and all that stuff, try to stick them in. You know, not everything in, in their entirety, but you guys would be here forever. But, you know. So in the past you collaborated with your artists, are you collaborating with any more coming up? Um, actually, I collaborated with uh, a fellow band member of mine, he's a reggae artist. His name is Mark Shines, and he did a song that was actually a reggae house slam. It's called Jump Up and Down, and I get to speak a little bit back to Mark and make a little bit of a stadium dialect thing there. And, um, yeah, for that, I'm just gonna, I think that's the only collaboration. No, I'm gonna do one more. I have one more that I haven't 
recording yet, but Robin S. has recorded her vocals, and I just got, I wrote my part, and I didn't sing it down yet. So she wrote and recorded hers, and now I have to record mine. I already wrote it, and that's called Hold On, and that's also going on the album. Nice. Yeah. But when do we expect to this album out? Because you've had about 42 singles, and you still never release your own. Yeah, and, and the thing is, is that um, in every, uh, I should say, in every region, different songs tap different ones. Yeah. So when I'm here in Australia, I do a certain set of songs that a lot of people in America have never heard, and vice versa. So over there, I'm doing an album with DJ Mike Cruz, with whom I have like four Billboard number ones or something yeah. like that with him. So we're doing, uh, I guess you would call it a progressive album or a circuit album. And that's the one that Robin S and the reggae thing will be on. Here, I'm working with Antoine Desant. Yeah. Yes, who did you? I know Terry Billy. I know that name. Yeah, she's a friend of mine. Um, she's gorgeous. She's told me about it. Ah, so, yes, yeah. he's awesome. He's a great guy. She loves you too. Oh, you guys, you can seriously look up. Your music's very similar. Okay. And both of you know how to get your voice out there. Awesome. Like, yeah. Did you, you send me a link? Did you yeah. send me a link to Terry Nelly Washington? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. She's awesome. That's yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. Very yeah. soft question. Yeah, it was with you guys had a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm super fun to meet you. Like, you're all in. Um, well, I don't want to take up too much of your time. No but thank you so much for your interview. Um, you're very so, welcome. do you have any words you'd like to say before you leave? Um, when the album comes out, buy 10 of them. No, by 15. <laughs> Alright, your version better. <laughs> Seriously, thank you so much. You're going to do a great show tonight. I hope so. What? Enjoy it. Likewise. Yeah, yeah. We're always talking and chatting. I know. Chatting. I love Facebook. You know, I know it is. It's on my Blackberry and I'm sitting there. People are trying to talk to me and I'm like, uh, huh? Uh, 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 I'm like, oh, all my internet kind of new stuff because I've just spent the last four hours on Facebook. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.